So living in Kings Mill, this is the thing we're talking about today. It is one of my favorite neighborhoods anywhere in Hampton Roads. It's extremely unique. It's full of colonial vibes. I love it. I'm gonna tell you all about it. The pros and the cons coming up. Hey, my name is Sam Sansloan and I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area and today we're talking about living in Kings Mill, Williamsburg. So we'll talk about where it is, we'll talk about the history behind Kings Mill and what it's like to live in Kings Mill. The houses, the real estate, the costs, what it costs to live here. Also the distance to places, how far is it to places you might be working. All that types of stuff and more and also the drawbacks to living in Kings Mill because I love, love Kings Mill. But there are some very specific things I think that are very important to know if you do want to live here and those things might be a deterrent and might convince you to look elsewhere as opposed to living in Kings Mill. Where is it in relation to everything else? Well you're about 10 to 15 minutes away from the actual Colonial Williamsburg in downtown Williamsburg. You're about 30 to 35 minutes away from Hampton and Newport News, uh, the center of those cities. So you're about 35 minutes away from Langley Air Force Base. You're about 15 to 20 minutes away from Fort Eustis. And you're about an hour, just over an hour away uh, from uh, Virginia Beach in Norfolk. You're about 15 minutes away from the College of William & Mary. Let's talk about some history about Kings Mill. Let's go back into the 1600s. The Virginia Company was a group of people that funded the trip from Britain over to America. So they landed in this area. And there were seven people in that company that were given tracts of land from the settlement. And Richard Kings Mill was one of those seven people and given the largest tract of land in that group. So back in 1607 when Jamestown was settled, right before then they actually landed first at Kings Mill. And this was originally called Archer's Hope. And Kings Mill was actually intended to be uh, the place where the colonists were going to settle. But it wasn't until the late 60s when Anheuser-Busch bought this 3,500 acre property and then you'll start seeing the Kings Mill Resort uh, be developed. Then Anheuser-Busch built its brewery in 1972. Then in 1975, Busch Gardens was built all next to Kings Mill. So in the early 70s, this became like a massive hub for anything Anheuser-Busch. And as they took over this property, there was a lot of excavation also happening because this is such a historic area. Well, they found so many things back from the 1600s that they then sent all that to the Smithsonian. But first I want to talk about the Kings Mill Resort because that's in the same area as Kings Mill, the neighborhoods, but it's not entirely the same thing. So I want to talk to you about the differences. You have the Kings Mill neighborhoods and the community association, and then you have the Kings Mill Resort. Well, the resort is set close to the river, close to the, the, the James River. The Kings Mill Resort is a four diamond condo resort. It has a lot of amenities and is well known outside of Williamsburg as being a destination spot for golf and for just getting away and being near the water. You've got golf courses, tennis courts, racquetball courts, it's pickleball. There's a marina on the water as well as a beach spot. You can rent things to go out on the water with. You have four restaurants. One of the best ones, the James Landing Grill is on the James River and next to the marina. Then you have the resort just off the water. You've got the fitness center and spa next to that. Ten all the tennis courts are nearby. You have the places to stay, the condos, and also they have new cottages that are built right near the water. And it's cool because part of Kings Mill's coastline uh, is unique in that you see the sun rise in the east over water and also set in the west over water. Then you move back into the rest of Kings Mill, uh, which is the Kings Mill Community Services Association and the houses around there. One of the things I love most about Kings Mill is the terrain. When you drive in, you've got a canopy of trees all on both sides as you drive in, which there are two entrances, by the way, gated entrances. And then as you drive through there, you've got subtle hills that just kind of wind and wrap around all through the neighborhood and over even getting close towards the water. So it's a very random topography, which is great and also a drawback if you don't want to live and drive up a long uh, high incline driveway and you've got all types of houses small single-family houses big single-family houses two three four five thousand square feet all different styles and a lot of them are colonial which I love and it's hard to find this many colonial houses and the colonial atmosphere anywhere else in Hampton Roads the houses have so much character the HOA does a great job of preserving this character as well a lot of the house styles are colonial feeling you know you got the colonial style colors it's like they built newer houses with the designs of colonial fields and then drop them right in the middle of an old historic area. It's perfect. And if you love history and you love the unique feel, you will love a lot of these neighborhoods. There are like two dozen neighborhoods in here. Single family, condos, uh, attached with garages, ranch, two story. But you also have a lot of green space, a lot of trees, so many trees. And so you don't feel like you're in an industrial area or a commercial area. You have some new construction around here, but it doesn't feel like you're in some like big booming uh, residential area where all the trees are getting knocked down. So as you drive through the areas, you'll see the diverse uh, types of houses, the really cool colonial style. You'll see some newer contemporary style. You'll see ranches. You'll see lots of different styles and siding. Everything's unique. Most of the houses in here are anywhere from like 
the 2,000 to 4,000 square feet. You'll see some a little bit less. You'll see some higher, 4,500 and up. I've seen them as high as almost 10,000 square feet. But most of these are in that low 2,000s to mid to upper 3,000 square feet range. For the most part, a lot of the houses in Kings Mill are gonna be anywhere from like the mid four to $500,000 price range all the way up through $1 million and 1.5. Most of them though will be five to I'd say 750 or 800. And it really depends on the size, location, and if the house is attached or detached or not, how much land there is, there are a lot of different factors here. I'd say of anywhere in Williamsburg or anywhere in Hampton Roads, this is the spot that makes you feel the most like you live in Colonial Williamsburg. The houses feel like it, the names of the streets and the neighborhoods feel like it, uh, the, the terrain feels like it, and you're so close to Colonial Williamsburg itself, it hits all the boxes. A lot of these houses were built in the mid 70s through the like early to mid 90s, and they're still building. There's one neighborhood called the Enclave, which is on the river course, which is not a big neighborhood, only like 20 or 30 units, but these are around that 25 to 3,000 square foot range uh, attached. So what are the things to do though in Kings Mill or around Kings Mill? Well, number one, you got at least 10 social clubs uh, in a Kings Mill. You even have a chapel in Kings Mill. You have a dedicated police force for the area as well in the 24 hour gated entry. You got two community centers. You got multiple swimming pools, lots of community events in Kings Mill, including things like a blood drive. They got events uh, for the community, the residents, not to mention all of the trails, nature trails, bike paths, uh, places to walk and run all through the community. This area is almost like the houses are one piece of community Kings Mill. Then you have all the nature and access around it. There's multiple playgrounds, three playgrounds, and also 28 acre fishing and kayaking pond. Not to mention the golf courses, the racquetball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, swimming pool. And as a resident in Kings Mill, you can also have an option to become a member of the resort too. And there are three golf courses, the wood, the river, and the plantation golf courses that are interspersed in the neighborhood. And of those, the river course is highly acclaimed. And between 1981 and 2002, the PGA Tour had a tournament called the Michelob Championship at Kings Mill uh, during that time. And so they used the river course for that tournament. And it's still host to the LPGA Pure Silk Championship. Not to mention Colonial Williamsburg, the downtown area is great for restaurants and shopping, which actually has some walkable spots in the middle of the town. Not to mention all the other history around, including Jamestown and Yorktown. And you're also only like five minutes or so away from Colonial Parkway, one of my favorite roads of anywhere in Hampton Roads. This Colonial Parkway can take you all the way down south through Jamestown along the water on the James. And it takes you all the way through Williamsburg up north into Yorktown along the water on that side along the York River. This is a beach side you can have some picnics on. And then it takes you all the way towards Yorktown Beach, uh, which is really a really small, not as well known beach, but I think it's great for how close it is to Williamsburg and Kings Mill. And so you're right next to Gloucester. There's the Gloucester Bridge right there. Cool little getaway. You can have a nice little day trip on the beach. And also there's some restaurants nearby. You can have some food too. Now shopping. You're pretty close to things as you get out of, of Kings Mill. There are a couple of Harris Teeters nearby in an area called Quarter Path. It's a nice shopping center there right off the entrance to Kings Mill. But then you have several food lines up and around Williamsburg. You've got Publix that's about 15 minutes away. Trader Joe's Fresh Market all in Newtown, which is closer to William & Mary and Colonial Williamsburg. There are multiple targets on bookending both sides of Williamsburg. There's a lot of recently built shopping too, which it makes it for a nice atmosphere. So you have shopping nearby. It's not loaded, for example, like with uh, Virginia Beach or Norfolk uh, down in the south area. And you're close to a lot of little mom and pop shops as well as Colonial Williamsburg itself. And then you're also close to uh, the Williamsburg factory outlets, which is in Lightfoot, about 20 minutes or so away northwest. There's some shopping also in the Newport News and Hampton area as well. But most of what you're going to need is going to be anywhere from 10 like to 15 minutes away from Kings Mill. And depending on where you are in Kings Mill, it can take shorter or longer times. Now, school districts is pretty cut and dry. For elementary school, you have James River. River Elementary School. And then middle school is Berkeley Middle. And then you've got Jamestown High School. And Jamestown is a very highly ranked high school uh, in the entire Hampton Roads area. And I'll drop the links below for the niche.com rankings so you can do more research on the school systems. Now, based on the popularity of Kings Mill, a lot of people that are looking in here often are looking for houses that have first floor bedrooms. And so you'll often notice that sometimes houses that might not sell as quickly or as well uh, might not have that first floor bedroom. So if you do buy a house in Kings Mill and does not have a first floor bedroom, keep that in mind if you do ever plan to sell, that might influence the resale, uh, the resellability of the house. Now another drawback to living in Kings Mill is also the fact that you have to pay that one half of 1% uh, of the sales price of the purchase of your house towards the Kings Mill Community Services Association, uh, like the HOA of Kings 
Kings Mill. So if you're spending $600,000 on a house, you're gonna be spending 3,000 upfront uh, for this fee. And also, you're close to the Kings Mill Resort, but just because you're close does not mean you have access to all the amenities. There are some things that don't apply or don't are not included in the KCSMA. And so you have to make sure that if you do buy a house in Kings Mill, you know exactly what amenities you're getting. And if you don't like being in an exclusive neighborhood, this might not be the place for you either because it has the gated access, 24 hour security, dedicated police force. There are a lot of amenities that, that only people that live in Kings Mill or go to the resort can use. And so there are a lot of elements that make it feel very exclusive and that's the intent of Kings Mill. So if you don't like that type of thing, this might not be the right vibe for you. Another drawback to Kings Mill is that it can take a few minutes to get out of the neighborhood. It's a huge area, um, lots of streets, lots of windy roads, and you can't go very fast on those roads. There are certain spots you have to drive to to get out of the neighborhood, and then you have to drive to wherever you're going. So it does take a little bit of time, but it can be worth it if you love that, that seclusion in the corner of Williamsburg. Another drawback to being in Kings Mill is that you are so close to Bush Gardens. That's a benefit, it's very convenient for that, but if you don't like that or don't want the, all the traffic, this might be a drawback because one of the access points into Kings Mill is right next to Bush Gardens. And so you could find more traffic around here, like the parking uh, for Bush Gardens is close to here. And so it can be more of an annoying if you don't like being that close to a theme park.